So the most expected thing just happened, actually. I was on Twitter uh, just a couple of seconds ago when I saw this being popped up and I had to make a video about it. It is insane that this happened as quickly as it did, but at the same time, also not unexpected from the studio. Firewalk Studios, aka the guys behind Concord, are actually now uh, done. They're signing off one last time and they made a tweet about it. So let me try and read the tweet for you and give my two cents. Firewalk is signing off one last time. Firewalk began with the idea of bringing the joy of multiplayer to a larger audience. Along the way, we assembled an incredible team who were able to navigate growing a new startup into a team during a global pandemic. Firewalk was founded in 2018 and was very small for its first couple of years, only entering full production in 2022. Build a new customized next generation FPS engine in Unreal 4 to 5, delivering top tier gameplay feel, beautiful worlds, and a performance 60 FPS technical experience on a stable and scalable backend on PC. PS5 and PC to hundreds of thousands of players in our beta. Manage an acquisition integration while readying technical and preliminary tests and ultimately ship and deliver a great FES experience to players, even if it landed much more narrowly than hoped against a heavily consolidated market. We took some risks along the way, marrying aspects of card battles and fighting games with first-person shooters, and although some of these and other aspects of the IP didn't land as we hoped, the idea of putting new things into the world is critical to pushing the medium forward. The talent at Firewalk and the level of individual craft is truly world-class, and teams within Sony Interactive Entertainment and across the industry will be fortunate to work with them. Please reach out to recruiting at PlayStation Inquiries, and thank you all for the very many teams, partners, and fans who support us along the way see you in the temp tempest firewalk studios and then they end it with end transmission as if they're doing some sort of mic drop i really do hope that this is just like a pr thing the way they formed this because the last point they're making here ultimately ship and deliver a great fps experience to players even if it landed much more narrowly than hoped against a heavily consolidated market my brother in christ you made like an overwatch clone eight years after overwatch was made I'm gonna be completely honest, uh, Conquer got a lot of shit. To be honest, it isn't a, a, a wonderful game, but it's not a bad game. Uh, I don't think they're fully wrong with the whole technical aspect of their game. Uh, the technical aspects all worked fine. I think the game ran pretty well. It's just, it didn't land with anyone because they just had really bad character design. That was like one thing that just ruined their entire mood. And then the second thing was just that it was an overdone thing. They should have stopped making this game like two or three years in the making even if that might may seem like the wrong thing to do but like this game would have been way better concord would have actually landed with a lot of people if it was single player or cooperative or something different than literally just oh here we have overwatch again even though you're already playing overwatch for the last eight years those aspects of card battlers and fighting games with first person shooters i don't think that's the big part that people hate i think gameplay is pretty much what most people found to be the best part of the game it's nothing compared to overwatch and bad character design and also just a bad time to put it in the market just resulted in what the game was nobody cared about it including me i never actually uh would have known this game existed if all the drama didn't exist but yeah that is uh something that these people apparently still believe that they have made something very amazing and i hope they understand that that wasn't their issue here now i'm not entirely saying that these people are like talentless or anything i feel like there was a lot of talent you can feel when you saw any gameplay of the game you can feel like there was love put into the game and there were very good aspects of it so i feel like uh whatever those people will be doing next if they do it for other games maybe with a better lead saying you know better design choices and whatnot i think this could actually uh these people could actually make something really good but i guess we'll have to see in the next couple of years hopefully not eight years of doing stupid stuff only to end up with you know a tweet only what is it a few months after you release your game saying that your studio's getting shut down because your game did so badly anyhow i wanted to make a quick video about that so uh thank you very much for watching if you want more content just like this subscribe to the channel and other than that i just say right here behind me we've actually also got a video where i talk about why exactly minecraft updates so slow so go and check it out because i think it might be right up your alley and i'll see you there